Griffin. Cause you lost your chance to find Mia? <laughs> yeah. Don't worry. We'll figure this out. Now, let's just get my sneakers back. Back? Were they stolen? The one? If you knew where your things were, why haven't you gone back to get them before now? Okay. Um, looks like some dialogue started right before I had record. I mean, it was only just one bit of dialogue, but you know what? That's fine. Um, great. Just great. Fun. Anyway, I'll, I was going to start the intro by saying I'm out of cocaine, so expect me to look dead in this recording. Fun. So I gotta follow Luan all the way down there. Fun. But first, uh, are there any, like, places I can drop real quick? There are some inhibitors I can- wait, there's inhibitors? Okay. And there's a military drop, too. Let's get it! Hey! Here's the box. There we go. Cool. Nice. Yeah. Ooh. That was close. There's another one down there. I first gotta talk to Luan, wherever she's at. I mean, she fell down here somewhere. Yeah. Uh, hello? Oh. I did not see you. You were just hidden in the dark. See that opening? Apartment 216. Go look for a large red box with gold trim. That's where I stored my shoes. Okay. Aren't you coming with me? You're why my shoes are ruined. You get me new ones. Go inside, take the shoes, and leave. And don't touch anything else. Got it? Uh, let's ask why won't you go hey, with me? Look, you got me suspicious, Luan. What's going on? Just go get him, would you? You climbed the fucking TV station tower. You can climb into an apartment. It depends on what's in there. Mm-hmm. I fine. Let's go. Chicken. Ooh! You call him chicken, boy. A girl. Whoops. My bad. Where is the apartment now? Down here. All the way around. Yeah, through this door. Lockpick easy. Oh, wait. Oops. There we go. I'm inside. Yeah, yeah. Don't touch anything. Just get those shoes. What's in touch, here? touch, touch. So spooked. Eh. Oops, I touched the generator, bro. My bad. I want to get the inhibitor, bro. Oops, I touched your fridge. Uh, this don't look like shoes. Cool. <laughs> Wonder if it works. Hold on. Our mixtape. Hmm. <laughs> this is not like the one I know. Some sort of lover. I see you. I see you. Is it me? There are the shoes. A guys, boots. Wait. Wrong shoes. Uh, how about this? Hmm. <laughs> A cozy place. Oh, secret place. Wait. Luan. Frank. <laughs> you look almost. almost happy. Yeah, and Frank looks normal. Pretty cozy nest. Uh, who's the guy here? You shared it with someone. Do you still live here, or...? Nobody lives there. Just find the fucking shoes and stop asking dumb questions. Gosh dang. Why'd you ditch it for that den at the fisheye? Cause that den is my home. I took all I needed with me. Except for the shoes, that is. Okay. I'm gonna sell you an inhibitor though. It's mine now. Yeah, yeah. Hold up. Uh, is this it? Looks like they uh, spend a lot of time here. Oh, yeah, because the beds are all 
Yeah, can I Vintage 2025. Small fortune in these bottles. Uh-huh. Uh. Oops, stole your bow. My bad. Oh, I think these are the shoes. There they are. I found your shoes. Great. Now get the fuck out of there. Oh, they're pretty. It's quite the love nest with the wine and the view and the music. I mean, mm -hmm. I'm starting to see a whole new Luan here. And you know what? I don't blame this guy, whoever he was, for liking her. Fuck you, Aiden. What? I, I didn't... Luan, wait. What? Oh. Back on. Oh, you bastard. Oh, no. Okay. Love alters not with his brief hours and weeks, but bears it out, even to the edge of doom. Out. That dude is hack on. Oh, shit. Luan. And that homie's up on her kill list. Okay, I see why she's pissed. Luan, I got your shoes. Uh, if I can find her, that'd be amazing. Luan, are you there? Come uh, on. I didn't mean to hurt your feelings. Just meet me on my rooftop. The rooftop? Get there and wait for me. You can give me the shoes and then fuck off. Who figures you'd end up at the place you go when you're pissed off? Oh. My bad. Alright, I think I see a way. Sort of. <clears throat> that was a long climb up the tower, up the building. I have found. Oh, wait. I have no idea where she's at. Eh. Okay. Fine. I'll wait. Kind of peaceful. I like it. Oh, there she is. <sighs> that shoes up. Here, I got your sneakers. You should also have this. Oh, don't. She's gonna burn it. Or tear it. Or both. I didn't realize you and Hakon had been together. Why do you think he's so high on my hit list? Yeah, that makes sense. Just because oh. someone reads poetry doesn't mean they don't deserve to die. Did you guys break up because he abandoned Frank, or did he abandon Frank because you broke up? <sighs> There's really no point in analyzing that now, Aiden. Whatever happened, it was a mistake, okay? I should have never been so naive. That's why I didn't want you snooping around. For fuck's sake, you could have just respected that. I'm sorry. Forget we went there. Mm -hmm. Just leave me alone. Be empathetic. The one, what's going on? You just don't give up, do you? You should know that by now. You should know I fucking hate whimpering. Saying how you feel isn't whimpering. Fine. Stick around if you have to, but don't interrupt me. I'm busy. You're getting drunk? No, dork. Looking at the stars. Looks nice. Hey. I can see the Big Dipper. Hmm, aren't you brilliant? Well, Except thank you. that's not the Big Dipper. It. Oh, whoops. <laughs> it was worth a try, though. You know any other constellations? Yeah. Frank taught me a lot about the night sky back in the day. We were building the fisheye, and I'd climb the scaffolding all the way up to the roof. Frank would come up to tell me it's too cold, too late, and whatnot. But he always ended up telling stories for hours and hours. And I love to listen. The stars are so clear and seem close enough. You could grab them by the balls. <laughs> <laughs> Frank.
Frank's way of putting it. Nice, huh? What yeah. about you, Aiden? And what about me? Do pilgrims get their hearts broken? I mean, yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Uh... Oh. Uh, on the heartbreaker? No, never. Eh. Uh, well, I'm. We tend to just forget it. Wow, the shy type. Looks like your constellation is sickness. Okay. <laughs> Whatness? <laughs> there, look, the swan. When I stargaze, I always find the swan first. Oh. You're making all this up to impress me. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe not. Are you impressed? Yes, yes. <laughs> Pretty much. Uh, should I ask about... Yeah. John, did you meet Hakon when you were building the fish eye with Frank? He and Frank used to hang out with each other a lot. They were friends. It's a simple story, really. I was a young girl looking for attention. He didn't mind having his fun. The good thing is, lesson learned. For life. Mm hmm Still hurt. You still care, don't you? Otherwise, why make me go into the apartment? Yeah, I care, Aiden about the person I am now. That's why I didn't want to go back there. So the weak little girl that lived there doesn't get the better of me anymore. I used to hate her. Now, I'm so over her. And then the poem, why not? And that poem? It's just words, Aiden. Words mean things. Love's not time's fool. Though rosy lips and cheeks Within his bending sickle's compass come. Love alters not with his brief hours and weeks. Just words, huh? <laughs> yeah. Just words. And then let's get some sleep. Um, let's, uh, let's get some sleep. Aiden, if I see Hakon, I'm gonna kill him. Simple as that. Don't try to stop me. It's fine, but you know revenge doesn't make you feel better. This isn't for me. That's for Frank. I will avenge everyone who died that night. A lot of stars winked out forever. Hakon talks big, but when it came down to it, he bailed on his friends and they died. He showed his real face. Fucking coward. Uh... Killing won't change the past. You can't turn back the clock. True. <laughs> but I can stop his fucking clock. And I fucking will. Yeah. Good night, Aiden. <laughs> what a way to end it. Oh, I'm gonna get this uncomfortable looking. Uh. Oh my. Oh, that's Frank. It's a brand new day, a brand new world. This is your friend Frank broadcasting. Yes, that's right. Broadcasting from the fisheye. From now on, I'll be bringing you all the good news from around Villador, helping transform this city back into the community it once was. The <laughs> one. Thanks, Frank. The one. Thank you, you for there? the loud announcement. Right, folks. Let's start this new chapter with some inspirational music for you. Aiden, you there? Come to the canteen. No offense, Frank, but I really don't have any more time for you. Matt was gonna help me find my sister, but I gave the tower to you instead, and now I'm... I'm fucked. Calm down. Come to the fisheye and we'll talk. I might have an idea. Let's hope, bro. I wanna help you, Aiden. <laughs> Fine. Be there soon. Alrighty, let's see what he got. Also, I, I hope that song ain't copyright. We'll see. Luan, it's Aiden. Come in. Luan? 
come on, Luan, answer me. You there? Ah, great. I fixed the transmitter, and now you go radio silent. <laughs> uh, just like my ex. My fault, huh? Okay, buddy. Okay. All right, Frank. Let's see what you got, buddy. This is Frank on Radio Free Villador. Your neighbor, your city, once more and forevermore. Signing off. Hey. Talk to me, Frank. <laughs> Look, we started off on the wrong foot. Mm-hmm. Yes, we did. I'd like to correct that mistake. Have a drink. Yeah? For me. Uh, Frank, I really don't have time for this. I, I have to find another way to find my... Just listen. Walt needs to access that Jory place. You get it? That's why we have to find Matt Pilgrim. He's offering a lot of fucking crystals for what he's got. And a lot of boosters. Do I have mm. your attention now? With those? Renegades, uh -huh. yes. But how did you... The TV station used to be controlled by the military. They did more than just broadcast from there. Thanks to you, we can now listen in on the enemy. It appears that Waltz is looking for the same database you're after. But the observatory is completely soaked with chemicals. You've been there, yeah. I have no idea how this GRE crap works, but Waltz sure seems to know. Maybe the observatory is not the only place to access the database. Is this conversation all you have? Uh, for now. But if we got close to their position and hacked into their frequency, we could collect more intel on Watts' plans. How? The transmission you heard was intercepted near an old military antenna in the wharf, just south of Marsh End Lane. If we activate that antenna, It'll boost the signal, and we'll be able to hear everything they say. Every syllable. And you'd know exactly what Waltz is up to. Okay. Uh... Yeah, It'd be quicker if I could just find him. Yeah. You're impatient, I understand. I know what it feels like to have wasted too much time. But you have to tread carefully. Remember, you said Waltz turned the power back on. Then the renegades invaded the central loop. There's something going on. So best to collect as much intel as we can before you confront him. True, true. I'll take a question. So, Why do they... You think Waltz ordered the renegades into the central loop? Well, until now, the colonel kept him on a short leash in his stronghold. But the savages we've been seeing lately... What the fuck? <laughs> something must have changed. One of the PKs told me that Waltz is after something called, uh, X-13. Yeah. Doesn't ring any bells. Oh, uh, antennas? Eh, who cares? Right, anything else before I get going? Oh, one more thing. Look at that poster, Aiden. Nightrunners used to abide by that creed. Live by it. Mm. I used to think we were as torn apart as that piece of paper. But the creed still means something. And if you increase the range, I can contact the remnants of the old night runners. Some must still be alive. I see it now. This means a lot to you, doesn't it? Not just to me, to everyone here. But there's one piece missing. Do you know why I haven't thrown this poster away in all this time? Because of Luan. Ooh. When I saw her for the first time, she was maybe, what, eight, nine years old. She was barely alive. She looked like she hadn't eaten in a year. And she was trying to help some kids get a crystal back from the thief. The guy was threatening them with a knife. He was twice their size, stronger, and she jumped on him, bit his hands so deep that his screams were heard as far away as old Villador. <laughs> After that, she gave the crystal to one of the boys and left. She didn't get anything out of it. She didn't have to risk it. I looked at her and thought, this is all we have left. As humans, we can fight one another. Everybody just for themselves. Or, no matter what, we can stand up for each other. 
Then I wrote down his credo. That little girl helped the Night Runners become who they were for years. And if we are to be reborn, we cannot do it without her. Mm -hmm. Uh, homie, I'm talking to you way too much. I feel you. Okay, I'm on my way. Then go get him. I'll be on the radio. You remind me of Lawan before she became obsessed with that goddamn hit list of hers. I'll get ears on the renegades for you. I'll find out what Waltz is up to. I promise. All right, I got you. All right, let's go. Where again? Come to on, military antenna. Come yes, on. let's go. Hey, Frank. That's uh, that's way up there. Uh huh. Yeah. GRE made them hard to reach for a reason. Keeps them away from the bad guys. But for a guy like you, Aiden, piece of cake. Uh 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 uh. You're actually gonna make a climb, then, aren't you? Oh my god. <sighs> Oh, finally, had a grapple spam all the way, bro. Straight up. I like the way the attendant let me just turn on this thingy. Oh, never mind, it's already on. So time to climb, yeah. Whew. Not a bad climb. Not a bad climb. All right, Frank, I'm at the top, bro. Yeah, yeah. What a way to turn it on. Okay. What's next? Uh, this. <laughs> there you go. Frank, I got the antenna going. Okay. Let's see what these bastards are talking about. Canada guys and head east. Waltz is. We need to meet him. They're moving, Aiden. They said they're going to meet Waltz heading east. There is another antenna on top of a condominium at the intersection of St. Paul Boulevard and Peach Street. Just by the entrance of the main canal. Get it working and we can keep up with them. Another tower? Ah, oh, Fine. Alright, I think I can make that one. seems to be evacuating renegade camps first the electricity then central loop rates now this it seems that Williams doesn't want to fight any more than we do or he really intends to close the sluice gates and back the chemicals up into the city but his stronghold will be destroyed as well so this evacuation wouldn't make sense we need to expand the range to find out more mm-hmm yeah let me just get on that tower first and then we'll talk <laughs> Yo, what's up, Renegades? How y'all doing? Oh, oh y'all are level six. Hold on, let me get something that'll actually kill you. This'll do. And uh, there's a one tap, but still does the damage. Yeah, yeah. Who be shooting your bow and arrow at me? All right, let's turn this on. Frank, I activated the second antenna. The renegades were here, on the roof. Speaking of renegades, hearing more chatter. Meeting at Garrison Boulevard, all opposite. Waltz will be there to give us orders. Garrison Boulevard. Anything new about that? Okay. No, but he found someone who'll help him access the database. If you know something new about that fucking pilgrim, let me know. Keep looking over and out. Frank, I need to get to where they are. You heard the maiden. Waltz is looking for you. Nah, I don't care. To access the database. <laughs> he found someone. He's too strong for you, and you'll be playing straight into his hand. If that's the only way to find out the truth, then so be it. Mm -hmm. You're stubborn, kiddo. Stubborn like Lawan. I'll be in touch. Let's get him, bro. I think this is the place. Yes. Yes. I am here. Oh, it's downstairs. 
Open up, boy. Hello. How y'all doing? Oh, you look See, armored. What was right? These fuckers were dropping on us. Ooh. First him, then we'll get that GRE employee from the old Villador. And the boss will be over the moon. Where's Waltz? Waltz? We don't need Waltz to deal with you. Oh, good old Frank. So naive. Warning people. Talking way too much. <sighs> How are we... <clears throat> Alright, let's fight, bro. I got a grapple hook thingy that'll like instantly kill you in a way. Watch this, bro. I pick him. I stump. Oh, wait, that didn't work. Whoa, you guys are strong. Hold on, let me get something stronger. So that actually will kill you. Oh, wow. Cheese and rice. Can I stomp on this dude? I can't stomp, bro. Oh, my axe does damage, though. Yeah. Nice. Okay, buddy. Okay. See, that's what I was trying to do. Yeah, yeah. Got like insta kill. Level 7, dudes. Woo! That ain't good. Oh. Uh. <laughs> I'm turning. Oh, can I beat him up with my hands again? Yes! Just like in the tower! Oh, that's up to the renegades, dude! Oh. I know my biomarker's going up, but oh. who cares, bro? I like this kind of power. Oh. Bro, this is the Middle Eastern slap. That's how you defeat renegades, or. Okay. Well, that. Uh, just screaming like a zombie. Yes. Hi, Frank. Help me, bro. Aiden. Aiden. You all right? I'm fine. I think so. Yeah. Waltz wasn't here. And they know we're eavesdropping on them. I know. You know? Someone tried to tip me off. But the warning came too late. Are you sure you're okay? Bro. Yeah, I... <clears throat> my infection just flared up. The renegades were talking about some GRE doctor from the bazaar. Waltz is looking for him, too. Former GRE and old Villador? I'll look into it. Who tried to tip you off? Well, that's the strangest part. It was Hakon. Oh. He wants to meet with you. Hakon? I wasn't aware the two of you had met. Anything I should know? It's a long story. Mm -hmm. Why doesn't that surprise me? I thought he left the city. Well, he's still kicking, and he'll be waiting for you at the church on St. Paul Island. He's got the goods on Waltz. And hell, maybe he knows something about Luan, too. Okay. Oh, these are some good questions, man. Um, let's go to this Why one. do you think he knows anything about Luan? First of all, because she was after him. But also, because it's much more complicated than that. You see, the last time she went off radar like this was when this fucker dumped her. So, if she's not answering now, I'm getting really worried this is something more, and Hakon could be involved. Brother, I don't want to some more. What do you mean, something more? I'm afraid she's found a lead on Hakon, and she means to hunt him again. Oh. Which means she could get herself into trouble. Do you know what really made the Nightrunner special, Aiden? I mean, true heroes. It wasn't the inhibitors, not the strength or speed they granted us. For the night runners, it was balance that set us apart. Self-control. Mm -hmm. That's why Lawan couldn't become a night runner. Not because she was too young. She was the fastest, braver than a lot of my men. But she couldn't achieve balance. Dang, bro. Uh Okay, I'm not gonna do that. Let's go meet him. I'll go meet with Hakon, Frank. You try and find out what happened to Lawan. Just remember, they're listening to you too. Will do, Aiden. Be careful. Who knows what Hakon is up to? I'm going back to the fisheye. Good luck. Alright, see ya, Frank. Let's go meet Hakon, bro. See what he's up to. Ah. <sighs> <sighs> 
And this is the place. <laughs> Looks dark. Oh, don't hurt yourself. You're right. Okay. Interesting place, I guess. Well, I don't see Hakon, as he was saying. Frank, the church is empty. What are you talking about? Well, Hakon's not here, but it looks like the renegades were camped here. Their fire's still smoldering. Mm -hmm. Hated? Oh, there he is. Hakon. Why did you want to meet, Hakon? Why not? It's been a while. Looks like you've made some new friends. How is Lawan, by the way? Wait, don't you know where she is? No. But what I do know is that someone's been killing William's top officers, each with a single crossbow bolt. Oh, that's Sounds her. like Lawan's MO, doesn't it? Mm-hmm. Okay, Pilgrim. Time to get down to business. Uh, He's still on Waltz's leash, I see. Enough chit chat, Aiden. Give me the key. <laughs> what? The GRE key, Aiden. Give it to me. Uh uh. I don't want to fight, man. I don't want to fight with you, Hakon. Pity. I don't care what you want. I saved your life at the bazaar. Uh huh. Oh, you saved my life. I saved yours. We're even. Whatever you might think, we're not friends. Never were. Wow, man. Now, give me the key. You know I won't do that. Get that fucking key from him. <laughs> All right. Let's get him, bro. Mofo. <laughs> yeah, grapple. Stop, bro. That's a strat. <laughs> Wham, bro. Oh, hold on, we got a spear, yeah? Hello, crossbow dude. Ah, there you go. Hello, crossbow dude. Oh, I sent you flying, bro. Are oh, you dead? Close. Oh, big dude. Yeesh. There you go. Bye. Oh, hack on. Where is he at? Oh, thank you. You've made quite a name for yourself in this shithole. <laughs> thank you. Thank you, Hagon. Can I talk to you? Yes, do your pose. There you Is go. Is that what you wanted? Are you really ready to kill me for that key, Hakon? Well, so many people have died already. You can't stop the wheel from turning now. But well, you had a chance to kill me. To take it from me at the bazaar. What changed? Well, what do you think, kid? You promised to get me out of the city. We had a deal. But then you ratted me out. But you think Waltz will just let you go, just like that? You know what he did to Dylan. To... To all the others. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but they all stood in his way. Dylan betrayed him. Lucas wouldn't give up the key. So? So you murdered him. The key is my pass out of the city. <sighs> Real fucking shame I have to kill you. Oh, what? I have to fight Hakon? I need that key, Aiden. Oh. Oh. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Oh. I am fuck, I didn't realize how tough you got. You're dead. I'm so sorry. Oh, no. I have to kill Hakon. My bad, man. Oh, 
Well, I did it. Um, Bethany. You can't get away. What? Maybe, but you don't want to see me. I ain't as pretty as before. We've both seen your biomarker. You're not gonna find me in time. Oh, oh. <laughs> He's up there, isn't he? Ah, open up. I can tell by the sound of his voice. Die. Oh, please don't kick me. How many people have you betrayed, Hakon? Killian, Frank, Luan? Why did you betray her? Frank told you about the TV station. Told you I chickened out, right? Well, he's wrong about that. It was a suicide mission. And Luan. Why did you leave her? What? How do you know about that? <laughs> Just answer the question. I made a deal with the devil. And she had her own hell to deal with. What are you talking about? I left to protect her. If I'd stayed, Walt would have had her killed. So why did you work with him? Why did you betray Frank? I, I didn't! I didn't betray Frank. I was trying to fix things. Dang, bro. After the TV station, I was planning to spy on Waltz. But he got suspicious. Threatened to kill Lawan. And now it's too late. Oh, buddy. I have to fight him again. Oh, I'm so sorry, Hakon. <laughs> you brought this on yourself, homie. Wow, you're dodging all my stuff. Sorry, Chief. Took sorry, your med Hakon. kit and your pants. Frank, it's Aiden. Hakon's dead. Yeah. Oh, fuck no. I knew this would happen. Well, come back to the fisheye. I overheard something more about Waltz. He's heading to Old Villador, Aiden. The person he tracked down is a GRE doctor. Is that related to the database? Yes, and I think I know the person he's after. I'll try to use the radio to reach her first. That's so sad, man. He's my homie. And he... He saved me in the beginning of the game, man. Let me take those. Yeah. Still not dead. I'm taking that key, Aiden. I don't know. Stop, Hakon. You're in no condition to fight. Uh, we'll soon find out, won't we? Hakon, talk to me. This doesn't make sense. Do the Night Runners mean nothing to you? Don't you want to make things right, Hakon? Mm-hmm. Nothing to make right anymore. The night runners are long gone. No matter what Frank says, he ain't gonna raise the dead. <sighs> Although it's a nice dream. What's really going on here? Frank told me how you broke with the night runners. Every day since, I've wondered. Would things have ended differently if I'd been there? Would my friends be alive? I know I can't bring anyone back, but I did make a vow. I'd prove myself to Frank and Lawan. Mm -hmm. Let's not fight, bro. Even though he's trying to kill me twice, let's not fight, bro. I don't want to fight you anymore, Hakon. Neither do I, kid. Neither do I. I mean, Good. I'm so tired. So fucking tired. It's quite a trip, huh? I <sighs> was worried that I'd have to learn surfing on my own. <laughs> Thanks for softening them up for me. Oh no. Oh, it's my ray of sunshine with a lethal crossbow. Shut the fuck up. A good thing you didn't finish me off, Eden, or she would have been pissed. What? How did you f have my own connections? Oh, uh, jeez. Try geez. to stop me? 
and we're no longer friends, Aiden. Uh. Oh. Nope. Not letting her do that, man. Don't do it. Killing Hakon won't help you, Luan. <laughs> what the fuck do you know? I know about the Night Runners. Frank told me. He spoke about balance and letting go. <laughs> He's one to talk. But he has. And you could too. Can't you? Luan, he said he wanted to protect you. <laughs> what is he talking about, asshole? He said he joined Waltz because he wanted to spy on him. Aiden, shut up. But he had to stop because Waltz threatened to hurt you. <laughs> Bullshit. I know you. Stop bullshitting me! The one! Put down the crossbow. This is bullshit! Get the fuck out of here. Are you sure? Go before I change my mind, you asshole. I'm sorry. Or at least it's still alive. How do you feel? I don't know. I... I feel... relieved. Some peace. Finally, but... But I should have killed him. Mm -hmm. He was on my list. He's still on my list. And throw your list away. That list is my only purpose. It helped me keep going. Throw it away, Luan. You think you know me? Uh, Fuck you. Luan. Wait. Dang, bro. I mean, she says she feel relieved, you know? Like, yeah, well. Frank? Frankie. Where you been, kid? Waiting for you at the fisheye. Get over here. Yeah, uh, Look, a lot went down since we last spoke. Fuck. What happened? You okay? Yeah, I'm fine. And you won't believe this, but Luan was there and she let Hakon go. Mm hmm. She what? Yeah, she destroyed her kill list. I'm floored. Save your shock for later, Frank. What about that doctor? Come to the fisheye, Aiden. I'll tell you everything. All right, I'll be there, bro. Yeah, yeah. Well, Hakon, Butcher, Waltz. <laughs> Bravo, Luan. You made it. Yeah, you. Yeah. Aiden, you there? Meet us at the bar. Us? Who's us? I'm guessing Frank? Hakon. Yeah, Hakon or Luan. It's gonna be a whole party, bro. Alright, let's see what this party's all about. Who is Come we? Oh, never mind. It's a private party or can anyone crash it? You've done a lot for the city, Aiden. For the Night Runners. Mm-hmm. You'll be one of us someday, Aiden. We'll make a decent runner, Moni Lawan. Huh? Yes. Oh, the best. But as for today. Hey! Everyone! I wanted to say something. Hey! Everybody! Hey! Hey! Shut up, all of you! <laughs> oh. Frank's got something to say. By whatever authority remains in me, I hereby make Luan mm -hmm. officially and forever a night runner. Fuck yes! Finally, Luan! Yes! Give him a beer! Frank? Uh, you mean. So, you're really bringing back the night runners? No, you're bringing them back. You and Aiden, in fact. You've already started. Let's go, bro. These old bastards are all former night runners who heard my broadcasts and came back. But you, you did them one better. You grew up. <laughs> Fuck you. See? The creed. If Hakon's alive, it means you learn to forgive. Mm -hmm. You found balance. That's what being a night runner is really all about. What about you, Frank? Do you forgive? Oh. Hack on back, bro. 
Your timing always sucked, Hakon. <laughs> Sometimes. But maybe not this time. I thought you could use this. Oh, uh, the other part of Where'd the paper. Come from? I've kept it with me all along, Frank. So what will it be, Chief? If Luan can forgive you, <laughs> I guess I have no choice. Not a ringing endorsement, but I'll take what I can get. Good. Now, this is Luan's time, not yours. Step back and shut up. <laughs> oh. Everybody, get your asses up to the roof. Much better place for a ceremony than a fucking bar. Oh, yeah! My brother hack all. Let's go, bro. Today I am forged in you to serve a cause greater than myself. Today I am forged anew to serve a cause greater than myself. I shall be the sword that slays the enemies of mankind. I shall be the sword that slays the enemies of mankind. I shall be the shield behind which humanity rises again. I shall be the shield behind which humanity rises again. I shall be the light in the darkness. I shall be the light in the darkness. This is my sacrifice. This is my sacrifice. This is my pledge. This is my pledge. As a night runner. As a night runner. <laughs> Let's go, I'm bro. Gonna make you, proud. you already have, and I say that calls for celebration. Everyone, back down to the bar. <laughs> no. The GRE doctor I told you about. It's Veronica Ryan. She lives in Old Villador. Are you kidding me? Oh. What? Well, she's one of the first people I met here. We were yeah, with Barney. Once. She used to come to the canteen. I guess I managed to avoid pissing her off during my booze hound days, because I convinced her to help you. Can we talk before you leave, Aiden? Of course. Yeah. Uh, sure, yeah. Mm, I seem serious. Talk to you later, kid. Good luck. Nice view, huh? So, congratulations. Yeah, yeah. Sorry for avoiding you. I just... You know what they say. If you're starting to worry about someone, it means it's time to go. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's a pilgrim saying. Neither of us need to worry anymore. Oh my gosh. Okay. Uh, yeah, I want to know about yeah, this. Having Hakon back must be weird. <laughs> Tell me about it. I spent so much time wanting to kill him. But maybe, you know, maybe I never did because... I never really wanted to. Maybe all I ever wanted was to stop hurting. Bingo. Uh, are you hurting now? Not really. Itchy, maybe. Like when an infection's healing. <laughs> but I'm not in pain for the first time in I don't know how long. Well, that's good. And then how does this feel being a night runner? So you're yeah? officially a night runner. How's that feel? <laughs> so strange for so long it was just frank and the night runners were just a ghost story of his now we're like a fucking insta family even hack on for fuck's sake can you believe it it's crazy all right um i was worried yeah one i i was worried <sighs> here it comes <laughs> when you left after uh... After your place, uh... Hack-ons and my place. <laughs> yeah, I can say that now. If I can mm. say that, then it proves that you don't have to worry about me. You're right, you're right. <laughs> Maybe you're right. Of course I'm right. You heard, Frank. It's a new day. A new Night Runners. A new me. Yeah, I don't know. I like the old you just fine. Night Runner or not. <laughs> Such sweet words, Aiden. Are you that drunk already? <laughs> no. Hope not. Yeah, I guess I better quit while I'm ahead. Look, I'm sorry I bailed on you. I was just... No, it's okay. It, it was really none of my business. But I made it your business. When I took you there. <laughs> Maybe I did it on purpose. On purpose? You've made me, and Frank, 
all this, your business, and look how much all of us have gained. <clears throat> Maybe I... I wanted you to know, but I was too chicken shit to come out and tell you so. And so, we went shoe shopping. <laughs> right. Those fucking shoes. They look good on you. Okay. Yep. I've... I gotta go. I... To look for your sister, right? Exactly. Sometimes I... Envy her. Envy her? How? That... She means so much... To someone. I'm sorry. Fuck, I'm talking bullshit. Mm, no, you're not. No, no. You're not, uh... Just shut up. Thank you. Well... Frank's got something for you, Aiden. Yeesh. Hey, yo. No one. They're waiting for you downstairs. I'm coming, Hakon. Fuck. You hey, yo. Go do your thing, Aiden. And good luck. Right now, I think I just gotta do my thing. <laughs> the more things change, the more they stay the same. Eh, hey, kid? Mm -hmm. uh, Frank found that doctor you were looking for, Veronica Ryan. Seems she used to work for the GRE, and I thought I knew everything about the women in this city. <laughs> you can probably find her somewhere around the church. All right, I got you, bro. I have more to tell you, Luan. So then, should I go back? Can I go back? I thought they were waiting for me downstairs. There you go. I was looking for that, bro. I was looking for that. Alright, um, it's just down here. Hey there. Oh, it's Killian. Have you seen Luan? <laughs> There's still some booze left, I'm sure. Well, I think there is. <laughs> no, listen. I I'm looking for Luan. But she was with you. On the roof. Hold me drone. And then she left and came here. Here? Here, yes. Jesus. Have you seen her or not? Yeah. Oh, you have? When? Did she leave? I saw her with you on the roof. Oh my gosh, Killian. Yes, I... I know that. <laughs> yes. Uh, okay. Never mind. Enjoy the party. Hey, you too, Aiden. Thank you, Killian. I heard Next a person. message to the night runners on the Free People's Radio. All right. Hack on! Hack on. Hey then, what did you say to her? What did you do? Wait, what? Why? She was quite... Uh, well, let's just say she was in no mood for celebration. Oh. I tried following her, but you know her, Aiden. If she doesn't let you, you won't ever find her. Well, fudge. Civilizations, but a On the roof, then? Circumstance. Uh, Frank. Frank, have you seen Luan? Did she leave? Yeah, uh, that was strange. She seemed upset. Did she say anything? Where, where was she going? No, sorry. No clue. Uh, she's a night runner now, you know. It's a big deal. Mm-hmm. Nothing, man. Are you serious? Uh, she's not here, so she probably went back to her place. Then that's where I'm going, yeah? Yep, then that's where I'm going. Oh! Get up there. Move. Open. Hello. Oh. Uh. I don't see nothing, bro. Oh, use. Don't come look for me. I need to be alone. Don't ask why. Start out of your back. Go to the gates of heck for you, but I can't be myself. Yada, yada, yada. Take all the time you need, Luan. Just come back soon. Let's drink. Does it taste good though? <laughs> oh, that's not good. Oh, we're all motion blur. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Probably shouldn't have drank that. My bad. Can I have another sip? Yep. Nope. Okay. Um, yeah, th this is bad. This is bad. Oh my gosh. How long will this go on for? 
1.3k. There we go. We're done with the drunk effect. Now we can actually look for a normal vision. Beautiful. <laughs> oh, it's my boy Barney. I think Pilgrim, he'll know. Long time no see. Heck yeah, bro. Hello, Barney. What brings you, pal? How's it going, bro? How's life? Better? Now that the PK finally stopped bothering us. I'm even thinking mm -hmm. of starting my own business. I know a bit about weapon design. I could start making and selling them. Sounds good. Mm hmm Yeah. And how's Sophie? And, uh, how's Sophie doing? Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's major news. She's the big boss now. <laughs> I'm sure she is. After all that happened, folks finally realized we needed a real leader. I'd well. say things have turned out the way they always should have been. Well, good for her. And for all of old Villador. All right, and then... I'm looking for Dr. Dr. Ryan. Dr. Ryan. Yeah. You're not the only one, man. What do you mean? The good doctor's in trouble. And, uh, weird kind of trouble. You see, a group of renegades appeared in old Villador. First, we braced ourselves for another battle. But they didn't attack the bazaar. Just asked for Dr. Ryan. Oh. Of course, we didn't tell them where she is. And where is Veronica? <laughs> you can tell me, right? In a hideout. Vincenzo and a few of our people are protecting her there. But the less people know about that place, the safer she is. Where is it, Barney? If the renegades are hunting Veronica, a few people may not be enough. Mm -hmm. You just can't walk away from a fight, can you? Mm -hmm. The building is north of Quarry End. Courtesan Rose Street. But you didn't hear it from me. <laughs> they got you, bro. Thanks I'll, for the info. I'll, I'll go and question. give him a hand. The folks say I'm the one always itching for a fight. Anyway, good luck, man. Appreciate it, bro. Let's do it. Oh, uh, is this where Veronica's at? Whoa, 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 whoa. Ugh. Hi, Howler. You don't see me, right? Even though there's a... Oh, chase going on. Y'all don't see me. Ah. Yeah, since there's Renegades, I don't think Veronica's safe, bro. Oops, sorry I got in your way, bro. Ah. Veronica? Oh, I got a lockpick, bro. Hey. Hello, Renegades. All right, I should take care of you first because you're the big dude. Uh, you're already dead. <laughs> Cheese and rice. Whoops. I'm trying to hook onto you. Or I can just do this. This thing is way too OP. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> oh, you don't like that, do you? Uh, so I pick this, cause why not? Oh. Hey. Uh, oh, Vincenzo! Hey, oh, homie! Thank God. Wait, where's Veronica? She managed to escape. I need to find her. Do you know where she is now? No. But we can try to contact her. Yeah, let's do that, bro. Veronica. Veronica. Are you safe? Veronica. <sighs> Shit. Something's not right. Yes. I'm safe. Are you? Oh, I am now. There is someone who needs to speak to you. And that person is Dr. Ryan? I'm Aiden. I know that you're being hunted by the renegades. Hurry, Aiden. More renegades may be here any minute. Frank told me you worked for the GRE. I need access to the GRE database in the observatory. I, I have a GRE key. A GRE access key? That's what I've been told. You think you can... Let's meet. I'll be in a small building near the dam, not far from the observatory. Okay, I'll go... Wait, hello? Be careful, Aiden. The place is soaked in chemicals. Mm -hmm. I will. Thanks for the heads up, Vincenzo. Thank you. I'm lucky you showed up. You're not gonna... Aiden. You're not gonna die Farewell. on me, right? You alright? You alright? You alright? Alright, he's still breathing. He's still breathing. Alright. He's alright. He's alright. Alright, let's go meet Veronica. 